All right, everyone, welcome to the Nexus Extreme Series. Daytona Duel is ready to go right now, qualifying underway here. Now, the top two in qualifying got in a little bit late here for this, but right now it's Roger Saucier and Mr. Rob Collier, top of the charts in qualifying. If it stays the same, those two will lock their way into the Ex Nexus Extreme Series. Daytona. 500 front row coming up here in a little bit again we got a few months a few weeks off before we get down to that but here tonight we're going to set the front row and everyone else again duels the way they normally work we're going to set the front row to qualifying well just like we are and then what we're going to turn around and do is we're going to turn around and then set the inside and outside rows for the duels thank you guys for coming out this should be fun as we get ready to go racing here in just a moment again everybody is fired up ready to go for this one again to a pair of 230 lap races to work our way through here tonight again a pair of 230 lappers to bring us through here tonight in tonight's show thank you guys again for coming out this is going to be such a fun year for nexus extreme series again these cars not your normal cup cars you normally see these things are fast as rocket ships man no restrictor plate that's going to be the biggest difference to me as we get ready to go here so we will get ready to do that we'll get ready to fire these race cars off and turn them loose here in just one moment that's coming up here in just a moment. Congratulations, Roger Saucier, for the front row as we get ready to turn them back loose. 30 laps again, your race distance. We'll get heat number one gridded up here and ready to go. First heat of the night on the track, ready to rock and roll here in just a moment. The first one of these heats, ready to go. So, Again, 30 laps or heat race action, which overlay up and going for you here in this first of two heats in just a moment. The are going to line up two by two on for on the pit road here to get ready to go. As we get ready to fire them off here in just a moment, two by two at the moment. Field ready to fire off, and again, because it's heat, they really can't do starting lineup. So, I'd want to, but I'll run you through the starting lineup for duel number one here tonight. So, let's get ready to take a look at duel number one in just a moment. On the front row of duel number one, you see Roger right there in the four car, Matthew right there in second, right now in that first duel spots here for duel number one starting up front this is going to be scott mayhew jr he'll roll from third in duel number one can he pick up some ground Derek miller right there james a morris sk back here he'll roll from fifth or sixth in duel number one magnus anderson ryan j rose brandon j anderson dallas robert gast back there as well 11th and it's going to be cole back there in 12th to round out this front first duel of the night of the scheduled two we got now keep that in mind that's going to be two duels here tonight here first one going to set the inside row second one you're outside row let's talk to roger roger up front in that number four machine see if we can check to him maybe possibly if we can find roger in discord no he is not there unfortunately but congratulations to roger for getting that done putting him on that front row for the daytona race so again he just wants a win here in the duel already kind of locked in to that front row again the old school cot car here tonight 200 plus mile per hour tire wear that's going to be huge here tonight as well watch for tire wear as we run here in the duels this will tell us a lot about what we're going to see out of the extreme series coming up this year so we are hot to trot and ready to go here at daytona field to work their way down 
the back straight away here. Ready to go green flag racing in Gatorade duel number one here tonight. Or the Nexus Extreme Series ready to go. The old two by two down the back straight away. You see Morris, Dalton, Anderson, Rose, and Moore back there ready to go. Stewart in the mix, mix. gas there. Who is it going to be to grab the win in duel number one here tonight? Two duels? Hello from Australia. Hello, Michael. How are you? How warm is it down there right now? Because it's cold as, uh, as can be here in the States. Here we go. Coming to green. Coming to green flag. Roger Saucier out front. The Red Bull 80, number four, excuse me, not the 83, but the Red Bull Ford. Ford machine brings them down. Toyota camera, work green. Here we go. 30 laps. Mid Daytona for duel number one. Everybody up to speed. Now, speed being the key word here tonight. Qualifying times of the 39 bracket. What are we going to see here in the draft? Everybody already starting to spread out a bit. There's Roger Saucier out front leading. Trying to pull him down the back straight away. 214 mile an hour. 222. 223 for the front through few cars. 225 mile an hour. And in the corner, we got a problem. Big problem. Turn four. The 58 around. He's hard into the outside wall. And the first caution of the duel going to happen here in the turn number one and two, or three and four. The caution is out. That is Ryan J. Rose, the nine machine right there of Magnus Anderson. Hard into the outside wall. It's hard to get checked up here. You see the contact. He gets squeezed into. Steven getting away, but when you're doing over 200 plus really hard to get on the brakes and not have things go horribly wrong when somebody gets turned in front of you like that it's the first caution of the night early on here in the duel number one let's talk to one of our drivers here rob collier let's talk to him in the broadcast booth. Hey, Rob, call your man up here in the Extreme Sim TV booth. You got me? I got you. All righty, man. Well, you're starting in duel number two tonight on the front row. Congratulations about that. What are you trying to learn watching duel one here tonight? Uh, how long it takes until uh, these guys burn off their right rears, honestly. There you go. So does it take some of the worry now that you know you're locked in for that outside front row? Uh, from your duel here coming up. Eh, I mean, yeah. I mean, the duel is just a big test session now, so I can throw whatever I want at it, and honestly, no repercussions. Well, good luck in Gatorade duel number two, buddy. All right, thanks, man. Yes, I'll always call it the Gatorade duels. It'll never be the Budweiser duels for me. Not happening. <laughs> All righty, man. Have a good one, buddy. All right, thanks. All right, Rob Cole, you're ready to go here tonight. Outside front row in that first or in that uh, second duel we'll see coming up later on as we continue to ow, 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 work through duel number one. All right, we'll get ready to go here in a moment. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go green. So again, we'll get the lights off here in just a moment. Turn them back loose. And fired off here for duel number one as we continue to ride around the eye, behind the eye racing pace truck after a very early incident here tonight. See the lights still on the pace truck. So we still got a moment. Let's... uh. Talk to that fourth place car, SK back there in the 09. Hey, SK, Matt in the booth, you got me, sir. What's up? What's up, buddy? Well, did you have any bucker, uh, butt puckering moments early? Nope. Pretty clean up front. As a carnage had sued in front of you, or behind you, rather. 
Yep, I guess some guy. I guess uh, we, uh, Rob and Chad looked it over. It looked like we had a little bit of net code, but you know this car's got a very, very, very old damage model, so yeah, we're probably gonna see some net codes here and there. But well, man, best of luck to you here. Over two hundred and twenty-eight, twenty-nine. I clocked you in the turn three and four, buddy. All right, yeah, we're gonna hopefully hold on to it and try to get a good starting position. Alrighty, man, you'll have about 25 ish to go, 26 to go when you get the green here. Best of luck, SK. Thank you, sir. And hopefully, this car don't make that mysterious rattle, rattle, bang, bang noise. Nope. No, we don't need, we don't need clickety clanks right now. We do not need clickety clanks. All right. See you later, man. All right. We're coming to green. Five laps on the board of 30 here tonight. Field two by two. And we should be able to turn them loose here in duel number one. So again, had a little whoopsie daisy there to bring the yellow out in duel one. But we are ready to get them back going. Roger, going to bring them to green on the inside. Red Bull machine bringing them to green. Again, laps around here around that 39 second bracket and qualifying. We'll see where we wind up in the race. See how much we pick up in the race times. Again, qualifying was about a 39 second for your pole sitter. Here we go. Can Roger hang tight out front? We're coming to green. Lap number five to go on the board. Again, the old NASCAR, not NASCAR, Nexus Extreme series here ready to go in the NASCAR COT era car. Ready to go to the Geico restart zone. We are green, five on the board. I'll see you're pulling away. Scott Mayhew Jr. right there as well. Everybody trying to swap and trade and get in the line. There we go. Look out for it. Roger is absolutely gone. Eight tenths of a second by the time they hit the back straightaway. Roger gone here. We'll see if they'll be able to work together. Managed to run him down. Scott Mayhew there as well. Eight tenths of a second to gap out front. You see some Jocelyn in the pack. Morris SK right there as well. Trying to hang on to it. There's SK right around the bottom. Meanwhile, Roger, that gap starting to close out front. Here comes the field. Big run. Right now at the start finish line, 229 mile an hour for that pack behind your race leader. Keep that in mind. 229 4P2 there. You're going to start to see guys. Oh, we got a problem. We got a whoopsie. The 38. Big. Up and over. The 43 involved. He's going to be pretty much down for the evening. Second yellow early in duel number one. Well. Uh oh, we got a car up top. Got to make a little bit of contact. 58 jacked up sideways riding jay rose big impact the 38 nowhere to go he's gonna spin around get some air time up and over top the hood of that machine as the 58 machine of ryan j rose and that will bring the caution out for the second time early anderson as well it's a seven complete back under yellow again here tonight for the second time here early. Also, you're going to bring them back to the back of the pace car here in duel number one. So we will go ahead and get them lined up. So duel number one. is under the second yellow here tonight no surprise there again it's going to be one of those nights i uh truly believe a lot of learning to be done here as we get ready to go you got a little bit of learning for these drivers again when you carry when you're carrying as much momentum as these drivers are or carrying 
here tonight if there's no shot that you may have minor scrapes and dents and accidents here as everybody tries to figure it out and i'll have less than 23 to go when we come back around see out front right now the number four roger saucier right there leading the charge in the in that number four red bull camry continuing to lead here from daytona international speedway all right so we'll get ready to go and again not not to mention the monday night series duels i'm gonna have to double check when that duel is let me go double check it before i say something dumb because i'll probably say something dumb and the duels should be Peace. So again, this Monday coming up will be the Monday night cup series in the Gen 6 cars. Their duels hits the track same time. It will be a 815 Eastern start time this Monday evening for duel number one. And that one's the set of duels on Monday for the next gen series. And then we'll take a little bit of time off before we actually get this thing fired up and going. Keep that in mind. We'll take just a tad bit of time off, and then we'll go uh, racing from there on out. Again, January the 23rd, we'll kick off the Monday series. That'll be January the 23rd. We'll kick off the Monday series for the full schedule. And the Friday Extreme series, and this is where it's going to get a little bit confusing, will be January the 27th. We'll kick that off for the Daytona 500. So the way that race will line up is exactly the way we finish here tonight in the duels. So you got to keep that in mind. So duel number one, inside row, duel number two, outside row. Very simple format to follow. No, we don't do passing points. Even though I'll float that idea to SK for next year's duels. But we're going to get ready to go here. Let's go racing. It'll be good. We're ready to go. Here we go, coming to green, nine at 30 complete, coming to green, let's go. Green flag in the air, let's roll. Right back up to speed. Everybody up to speed here. Ten on the board. Field working their way through. Two by two. Back here amongst Roger. Roger done gone. We got cars on pit road. Again, ten of fifty or ten of thirty complete. Matthew. Right there as well. Eleven on the board. Derek. SK right now moving to second. Good move for SK. SK going to move to P2. Now can he get a little bit of help with Derek Milner? Right, or Miller behind him. And caution. We're back under yellow lights. We're back on around the racetrack. And we got a smoker. And that's going to be Brandon J. Anderson bringing the yellow out with 20 to go. Or no, not Brandon. Maybe not. Might have misspoke there. Let me check it. Oh, right there, the three of James A. Morris going to be involved down here. He's lost the back of the car, overcorrects, and oh, my goodness. 
the 87 Caddy Wampus, the outside wall. Robert's car is absolutely killed. Wow. Let's take a look. Robert gets Caddy Wampus out there. Let's take a check here. Wow. Huge hit for Robert. That's more. There we go. Let's talk to Robert here. Where's Robert? Or gets Caddy Wampus there. Hey, Robert, Matt in the booth. I know you're going to your stall right quick. First off, are you okay inside that thing? Yeah, I'm all right. We're just kind of hanging out and enjoying the ride. Well, that was one heck of a hit, buddy. Yeah. I've been pretty lucky and avoided the first ones, but not so much on that one. Yeah, that one snuck up and got you, man. What are you going to do? You're going to restart. Should be looking sixth, seventh here. You think yeah. you can make up a little bit of ground in this duel with 18 to go? Yeah, I should be able to. I'm just going to try hanging back and avoiding the the wrecks here. All right, what room you want me to move you back to, Ace? Yeah, Ace. All righty, buddy. Best of luck. All right. Thank you. Robert there with a big Im impact into the outside wall. Having some trouble getting some flow going, if you will. But we will work on it. And we'll get ready to fire them off. So, as the field gets ready to go, 18 to go. And we'll get everybody stacked back up. There we go. So we'll start stacking the field up. We'll get ready to fire them back off here in a moment. We're ready to rock and roll. So 18 to go. We shall be ready to go once again. Again, I feel ready to rock and roll here. Let's see if we can get ready to go back green here. Ready to fire them back off once again. Oh, 17 to go. We'll get ready to go back to green. 17 to go. Seventeen to go. Here we go. 
Here we go. Coming to green. Back underway. 16 to go in door number one. Field back at it. Everybody, 16 laps to go this time by the work their way through. Nose to tail. Up front, Roger going to pull back away. Back in the pack. A couple of cars going to be single file. James A. Morris. Here comes Cole. Robert Guest. And Mr. Dallas right there as well. Near the back of the pack with 15 to go this time by. And duel number one. Roger trying to hold off SK. Out of turn number four. SK with a big run. Carnage already here tonight. Let's see if SK can run down. Roger. Roger going to try to hold SK at bay. 15 laps to go in duel number one here tonight. Nose to tail. Here comes SK. SK trying to get to the back bumper here. He'll shoot to the bottom down the back straight away. Going to be dicey when they get to turn three. Two by two. Smartly, Roger going to back out and hand it over to SK. Roger not wanting to tear that car up again. He's got that pole starting position for the 500. SK right now with the win would we'll start third. Keep that in mind. SK doing everything he can here to move forward the best as possible. That's the way we set right now. Nose to tail. He leads the way. SK picking up the spot. 14 to go. So SK now leads the way, and again, even though leading this race and looking at the possible win, if he were to win this thing due to the way everything worked out, it would uh, work out to him starting third here tonight. Now, right now, everybody's setting tight, 14 to go. SK out front, Derek Miller. There's Scott Mayhew, Matthew Stevens, James A. Morris. They're in the number three good wrench machine. James A. Morris picking up some ground. Good run for Morris here tonight. Milner, Miller, and Mr. Roger Saucier. And taking a look there at Steven, or SK, who leads the charge right now. On board, you hear him lifting out of the, out of the gas here just to make it around the corner. These cars are absolute rockets here with no restrictor plate coming to 12 to go. SK leads by about one-tenth of a second. Here comes Roger to the back bumper. Oh, SK out of shape. Nice drift by SK. Good job, SK, buddy. What a drift by that man. Great job. Holy cow. We'll add that to the bookmarks. SK made a drift of a lifetime and held on to that thing. Nice job hanging on to that bad boy. Oh, he's out of shape again. SK back in wiggly wobbly right now. 11 laps to go. The four of Roger all over the back. Bumper, he's going to get turned. Roger going to get contacted. Hang on to it. Whoa, bucket down. What a save, maybe. Roger with the save here. Nice driving, Roger. He'll lose position, but not going to matter as much. Guaranteed to start on the pole. But great save now. Escapes leading Scott Mayhew. 11 to go at Daytona. In duel number one. Oh, SK. Another save. Three wide to the lead goes Derek. Nice move by Derek. Three wide. Ten to go. Man, oh man, oh man. These guys absolutely dropping the wheels off these race cars. Derek. SK. Scott Mayhew there as well. Steven. Matthew Roger. Derek Miller right there. Ten laps to go. Abdul number one car in the wall. That's going to be Derek, and he'll give up the spot. And everybody scrambles. Move James A. Morris to the race lead. Got a car in the wall back there. Nine to go. 
Uh, SK back to fifth. He's falling off the pace. Scott to fourth. Derek to third. Eight to go this time by in duel number one. This has been one of them nights of racing so far that we will not soon forget. I'm here to tell you. James A. Morris continuing to lead. Nice job. Seven to go. Eight to go this time by. Eight laps to go. James A. Morse, Derek Miller, Matthew Steven there as well. Nice job, everybody hanging on. What a race so far. So again, two by two out front. You got to be so careful when you're doing that. It just does not look good. Eight to go. Nice job, everybody. Hang on. Seven laps to go. Hey, you, Miller, and Matthew there as well. There's the three car of James A. Morris right there as well with seven to go. He'll drop back, but Scott Mayhew continuing to lead the charge. So Mayhew continuing to lead. Good job, Mayhew. Uh, it's everybody fighting through great racing so far. Seven laps to go. This time by. Now six to go. Starting to get a little bit spread out now as the field continues to do just that. Spread right apart. There's Matthew. There's James A. Derek, Roger, all in the mix here. Five to go. Five laps to go. There goes Derek Miller to the bottom. Five to go this time by. Scott Mayhew Jr. out front leading. Mayhew with a big lead of 1.2 seconds right now here in duel number one. Five to go for duel number one tonight. Matthew Stephen, James A. Morris, Derek Miller, and Mr. Robert Gass back here. Five to go this time by and do a one. A little bit spread out. Cole and Steven back here. Steven after, or SK after having the issues he's had, he'll drop to eight on the board. And that should put him quite deep in the pack when we go racing here. Scott Mayhew right there as well. There we go. James A. Morris, Matthew Steven, Roger Saucier right here. Right now, here we go. Four laps to go this time by here tonight. Four to go. Mayhew looking at the race win here in the in duel number one. James A. Morris, Steven there as well. Three to go this time by. Oh, we got a car in the wall. That's going to be Morris. Everybody will get by. Three to go. Three laps to go here. Scott Mayhew Jr. Continuing to lead the charge. Roger kept care, took care of the car. Right now with two to go. Looking to finish second in duel one. If he can do that again, knowing he's gonna start up for in the five in the five in the uh first week there for the five hundred, quote unquote. But right now, Scott Mayhew Jr. That gap. 3.6 seconds at the stripe over Roger Saucier. Derek Miller there as well. Two to go. Two laps to go in duel number one here tonight. It's going to be a fun one. End out in the duel. Hey, 
again, coming to the end here of duel number one. Oh, car in the wall again, two to go. And this is the car up against that outside wall. Nice job. He'll keep rotating it. So difficult. Here we go. One to go this time by as they work their way through. Two laps to go here tonight. Two to go. Meanwhile, are now one to go for Scott Mayhew Jr. Mayhew Jr. there. Roger Saucier up there as well. But Scott Mayhew Jr. looking to get the W here in duel number one. Mayhew Jr., nice job. He'll get to the bottom. Roger Saucier behind him. Scott Mayhew Jr. Coming to the checkered flag. It's going to be Scott Mayhew Jr. to win doing one. Roger going to bring it home second. Oh, whoa, whoa, everybody now. Third, Derek Miller. Fourth. Fifth is going to be James A. Morris taking a look at Cole. Robert Gass. And then SK and then Brandon would be your last car running. And we'll take a look at some of the moments from duel number one that made it stand out after Mayhew goes to victory lane. Take a look at just some of these moments here. Take a look here as SK up front. Take a look at this crazy moment for SK tonight. Take a look here. He's going to go into the corner. And just the car is going to start to slide around. And watch his car slide around right there. And then watch everybody scramble to get around him. Just crazy as you watch SK and then that turn behind him. Man, it was crazy. Taking a look one more time. Down there in turn one and two is where it got crazy. SK just out of shape. Did a great job getting it up. And then, of course, we had Roger. Roger's moment. Here as well. But, of course, Scott Mayhew Jr. Right here, going to make the run here. Mayhew ran his way through the field. Great job for him. It's some of the great moments that were in heat number one as we're looking back on that heat. So, with that being said, it is time for duel number two. Rob Collier to bring them to green here on the front row. Terry, Matt Yost, Shane Gentry, Chad, Connor, Tex, James, Mitchell, Sam, Dustin Jones there as well. And we'll try to grab some interviews there from heat number one. And uh, let's see if we can find maybe Mayhew. I don't see Mayhew anywhere in the chat, unfortunately, or we talked to him. But some great moments there in heat number one. Let's talk to SK right quick. SK, man, Matt in the booth, you get a copy. What's up? Well, man, you didn't get the win in heat and dual one, but you per sure got out of shape and put on a show through the corner doing uh, your best uh, Ken Block impersonation. Yeah, well, unfortunately... Uh God bless his soul, Ken Block. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, battling Bryce up there for a little bit, I'd overcooked the right rear. And you, as you saw, when he got loose behind me two or three laps before, our right rears were cooked. And I was trying to hold it in the trial when every time somebody came up on the back of me, it was just the right rear. Like, when I pit, or when, when that race ended, my right rear was like 370 degrees. It was so hot. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, I gotta do. I gotta try to do something a little different with that, and maybe we can uh, do something you know, better. Perform. Right now, Rob's got an experimental setup in, in his car, so we're gonna kind of break it down and see how the old Buick compares to the Dodge. And what I'll we can do? If, yeah, let's see if Heat Two goes a little greener. There we go, man. Well, best of luck to you, my man. All right, thank you very much. Uh, the SK. Fun watching you. All right, duel two underway here. Normally, duels, you have the crazy one and then the tame one. Rob Collier right now getting moved on by Mr. Rob Collier moving by 
Oh, Terry right there as they enter turn three and four. Lap number one is hole number two in the books. Lap number one of the second duel of the nine in the books for the NASCAR Extreme Series. Nice job there, Shane Gentry there on the top side. He'll go to second. Up on Terry right there as well as they work their way through. Two laps complete again. Duel number two, same format as duel one. We'll see how this duel plant pans out. Do we get some green flag action here in duel number two? And comparatively to duel number one, that would be my uh, my guess as they work their way a little bit of side by side racing deeper in a pack. That's going to get a little bit tight back here amongst some drivers. Everybody making sure to hold serve three complete at 30. There's Rob Collier, Terry, everybody up front still two by two as well. Great racing here to start off duel number two on the evening for the Nexus Extreme Series. So now, Kane right there in line. Remember, the further we go, the more we get that right rear hot, the more in danger of that sideways type of mentality that we end up getting. And that is three complete this time by. So far, so good early in this one. So far, so good, I would say. See how it pans out here. Four laps on the board. And it's scheduled 30 here in duel number two. The second of two duels here tonight. On the channel. So we got two duels here. We're watching duel number two right now as they work their way through. Lap number five of this one. And so interesting here. Four complete. Right now, as the field works their way through, right here, three on the board, five now as they kick off. Terry up front, holding off that B number 26 of Shane Gentry. Gentry trying to hang on as well. Shane Gentry a little bit out of shape there. That's going to give the O2 machine of Rob Collier an opportunity to jump to the top. That's the way we set your nice job. He'll fall in line. Rob Cole, you're now to second, Gentry to third. Third, Connor Matt Yost, along with Chris James, Chad, Mitchell, Tex back here in the line as well, Sam Swoop, and Mr. Dustin Jones on pit road. That's your field right now in duel number two. Meanwhile, the 92 machine, that will make some moves here, the 97, the 82 of Jones. Nice job for Jones. Jones up to fifth on the running order. That is, er, James, excuse me, not Jones. My apologies. I was looking down there. Dustin still on pit road. Here comes the 0-2 of Rob Collier back under Terry. Terry going to give him the room. Crossing the stripe. Give it to Rob Collier. Seven on the board. Collier will take back the race lead. Give it to Rob Collier out front. He'll start to pull away a couple of car links right now. Big draft coming down the back straight away here. First two to three cars trying to separate themselves from the rest of the pack here in duel number two. Much cleaner start to duel two, I'll say that. See how it finishes. I got to give it to him. This has been a much cleaner start than duel number one right now with seven laps on the board of the schedule what is this 30 that we're doing here in so i mean these guys doing a wonderful job so far a little bit of a check up there no big deal new big deal he'll continue to work the way one car on the apron right now he's got to work his way back up the racetrack and again, everybody keeping it clean for now. Eight laps complete of 30 here tonight. On Extreme at SimTV's coverage of the duels here tonight for the Nexus Extreme series. Everybody keeping it mean and green at the moment. I'm pretty happy with what we're seeing so far, I have to say. 
been a mean and green race so far here tonight. And, uh, man, the racing so good. So far, so good here tonight. That's the way they set here again, nine on the board. So far, so good right now. And single filed out for the most part around the racetrack. There's Shane Gentry. There is Matt. There's Chris James. Collier's oh, continuing to lead right now. Rob Collier continuing to lead. Terry there as well. 10 on the board, 20 to go. 10 on the board, 20 to go here tonight. Single file, nice and clean. Heat number, dual number. All right, so Laura, we stay single, clean and green. 20 to go here tonight in this second duel. Rob continuing to lead Terry Gap right now up front about one-tenth of a second. It's going to be Matt Yost, Chris James. What about Chad, Connor, Shane there as well? Mr. Mitchell, Tex, Sam Swoop, and Dustin Jones still on pit road. Getting um, services done to that race car. But right now, everybody else on track, I'm making it work. You don't need any recommendations, Red. Calling your out front, continue with the lead. 19 to go this time by. Call your continue with the lead, single file right now. James right there as well. Again, beautiful race out front, four car breakaway from the rest of the field. Change entry back here as well. But Collier continuing to lead now side by side for the race lead. Out of turn number four, that gets a little bit tricky. Anytime you're side by side, watch for side contact. Collier going to break away from Terry. Nice job. 18 to go. Whoa, Carl out of shape. That's Terry. He's on the brakes. And does he get it wound up? No, he don't. He's going to get in the outside wall. He'll keep rolling, though. So Rob will break back away to the front of the field. Along with Chris James, who now falls to second. So Jones going to fall to P2 and caution now on the racetrack. And we got a big mess over here in the corner. That is Tex up and over. Take one more look here. What happened to Tex? Oh, contact and oh. Oh, and then gets drilled again. Up and over for Tex. And that will be a fast repair for him. One more look at it here. Or gets turned around in front of him. First caution with 17 to go here in duel number two. Tex comes along, nowhere to go. And up and over that ace racing driver. Gonna have some severe damage to that race car. He'll have to get that thing fixed up. I'm back on track. He'll be on pit road one lap down. Not the way Tex wanted to finish tonight. Let's talk to Tex. Let's see if we can talk to old Tex here. Hey, Tex, Matt in the booth here tonight, buddy. You got me? I don't think Tex can hear us. Oh, yeah, I can hear you. All righty, man. Not the way that you wanted, uh, wanted your door to go there, sir. Oh, look, I, I was just sitting at the back just trying to look after these tyres, knowing that essentially that's what you have to do with these cars on this track and hoping that the guys at the front were starting to get a bit greasy because I, I was pretty happy with the way my car was exiting the turns. But, um, yeah, it all just happened a bit quick in front of me. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's that's the racing, duel, man. It? Yes, sir. It's the duel. Good luck whenever we come back here for the... Uh, Start of the season, buddy. 
Yeah, no, thank you. And, and thanks for uh, coming aboard um, to do the commentating and broadcasting. I enjoy watching your stuff. Thanks, so, mate. Um, yeah, no, look look forward to working with you and talking with you in the future. Hopefully next time it's under better circumstances, eh? Yeah, I have a reputation of doing well until the final, the second last lap. There we go. <laughs> well, best of luck to you, buddy. Cheers, guys. Bye. Cheers, man. All right, so Tech's not going to have the night that he wanted. Everybody else to pit road, four tires and fuel, no shocker there. About halfway on tires and whatnot. So not a real big surprise, though, that they would come down and get some tires and fuel on board these race cars. Not shocked at that at all. And we'll get ready for the restart here in just a moment. The field going to get lined and back up. And we'll get ready to go at it again. Unfortunate does happen. I look forward to seeing him back in action here relatively soon. Because we're 16 complete. 16 laps to go here. And we'll get ready for the restart. 16 to go, ready to rock and roll here in just a moment. Well, it happens. We'll get ready for the restart here in just a moment, and we'll turn them back loose. Five, just over halfway here tonight. So halfway, and we'll get ready to go at it one more time. Fifteen to go. We'll get ready to turn them loose once again. So it'll be 15 to go, 14 this time by. Field coming to green. This is going to be a good one. As we get ready to go. Field two by two. As we get ready to go green flag racing once again here tonight. Be a good restart here at the... But he's getting ready to turn them back loose. Thank you guys for coming out here tonight to all the shows we've seen and all the great racing that we've seen here. And again, it's going to be a great 2022 or 2022. There it is. 2023. Wrong year, Matt. Uh, as we get ready to go. Back at it again. And again, thank you so much. We're going to get ready to go. And we will turn these guys back at it. For the final 15 of this one. So another 15 laps to go. It'll be 14 when we come to the strike. We'll turn them back loose. Here we go. The old ready to go two by two. Here at Daytona back to racing action. We're back underway. Here we go. Once again, Phil going to get ready to rock and roll. Nice job, 14 to go, field to work their way through. Nice restart up front here. So nice job, everybody up to speed. Everybody up to speed right now, working their way through, trying to get it figured out. 14 laps to go. Be a good one, couple of cars out of shape behind them, but we're all good. We're all good for the moment. And this is going to be one heck of a restart here as we get ready to go. Field hanging on right now. Again, 13 laps to go here as the field works their way through. Here tonight at Daytona, that is Rob Cole, your leading. Connor, Chris James, there is Chad, there's Terry, right there as well. Here comes Matt, Yost, Shane, Mitchell there as well. Chad hanging on, is a nice run for Chad right now. So Chad having a good run. 
James up the racetrack really high. He'll gather it back up. That's Chris James. Nice job recovering the car. He'll drop the fourth. Got up the racetrack there, did recover it. But here we go, 11 to go here tonight. Yo, continuing to hang on with Rob Collier out front. Rob continuing to lead the way, 11 laps to go this time by. 11 laps to go. Connor, Terry, Chris James, Chad, along with Shane Gentry back there, Matt Yost, Mr. Mitchell, Sam Swoop there. But Rob Collier continuing to lead 11 laps to go this time by. There is old Rob Collier continuing to lead the charge out front with 11 laps to go now. Nice dive to the bottom of the racetrack. Connor trying to stay with him. 10 to go in duel number two. Terry, Chad, Chris James up near the front as well. 10 to go in duel number two tonight. In to go out front. Rob Collier, le Collier leads over Connor and Terry. Been denied to go this time by Chad Shane back here in the line as well. So you got a bunch of cars back here trying to figure out how they can line up and make this happen. Oh, easy does it. Nice job. Nice checkup. There's Chris James right there as well. Nice run for him. You see them spread out down the front straight away here into the trioval. Counting down now. Ten to go at Daytona. Now nine. Collier leads. Connor second. Terry, Gentry, James, Chad, Matt Yost right there as well. Eight to go. Sam Swoop, Rob Collier, Terry. Oh, we got a problem back in the pack. A couple of cars around, and this will bring the caution out with eight to go, most likely. Big mess out of turn four. Caution on the racetrack. So now problems on the racetrack. Eight to go. Take a look at it here. Or just gets turned around there, middle of the corner. See it start sliding sideways. Caution is out with eight to go. And you see the mess at the exit of the trioval. One more look at it. Oh, man. Our car is just getting together there. To start this, take one more look. 48 to 46 machine of Terry gets hooked in the right rear, turns in down the racetrack, and once that start ha starts happening at the speeds we're going here tonight, chaos tends to rain afterwards. Oh, there we go. Eight to go now. Back under yellow here. Overall, a much cleaner night, but does happen unfortunately we'll get ready for the restart here and as we get ready to go we ready to turn them loose see a couple of them there on pit road getting it worked on i mean it happens but right now they're just going to come out and get ready to rock and roll and it's just so unfortunate contact like that and uh, people end up together so that's the way we say it caution on the racetrack yet again here tonight caution on the racetrack we'll get ready to go ready for the restart here as well so again, seven laps to go. 
that will be seven laps to go here when we come to green. We'll get ready for the restart. Should be around, well, by the time we get back going, it should be around five to go for the restart here. And we'll turn them back loose yet again. So, field ready to go. What car is trying to get themselves wiggled in there? They will indeed get themselves wiggled in and in spot to do what they need to do here. So. We get ready to turn them back at it. Or that restart here in a moment. They're going to be five to go here when we get ready to go racing once again. The restart coming with five laps to go in this one. It'll be a restart with five to go in just a moment. Be a good restart here as the field gets ready to fire. Oh, we got a problem under caution. Wow. Oh, no. The race leader. What in the world? There's Rob. Let's take a look. Oh, just going to get turned right there. A car trying to warm his tires up and Rob, the unfortunate victim of that. And he's got quite a bit of damage on that front end. They'll have to give him an opportunity, most likely, to come to pit road, get that car worked on. Wow. That's unreal. That is unreal. So, guess what? We get to stack them, rack them, and go again, folks. Unfortunately. But again, they'll get ready to go turn them loose. And that's uh, highly unfortunate. And we'll get ready to go. So, with that being said, the field going to get ready to go here in a moment. So, the field will get stacked up and ready to rock and roll. It'll be four laps to go now when we get the green flag. And we'll turn them back loose with four laps to go. Lights off on the pace truck this time by. The lights will go out on the pace truck. We'll get ready to go for the restart here in a moment. Ready to go. Lights off on the pace car. Ready to rock and roll for a restart. And doing number two tonight. Here we go, getting ready to fire them back off once again. And ready to go racing once again here. Field, ready to fire off. As we get ready to go two by two, field ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Field double file. Green the flag coming. Here we go. Green flag in the air. Let's go. Four to go. Here from duel number two at Daytona. Everybody immediately in line. Matt Yost. Connor. Mitchell. Chad. James. Right there as well. Four to go. Rob. Shane and Mr. Terry 
All in line, coming to three to go this time by Matt out front leading. Matt leading away right now. Three laps to go this time by Matt hanging on to the race lead. That's the 70 ride. Nice run, car in the wall. Everybody's fine. Three to go. Everybody scrambles around. Here he right there as well, but Matt out front leading. Three laps to go. Three laps to go for Matt out front by a couple of car links over the one car of Connor. Matt trying to secure the win here. Remember, Rob was leading, had that issue under caution. Now sits in fourth here. But Matt Yost out front. Looking to come out of turn number four to see two to go this time by. Yost continuing to lead the charge down the front straightaway. Two laps to go. Connor too far back. Connor too both far back. Chad there as well. Rob Collier. James. There's Chad. There's Collier. Nice run. Two to go. Yost out front leading Yosemite Yost leading the charge was Rob Collier trying to chase him down two by two behind him there's Connor and Chris James going at it coming to one lap to go Matt Yost looking to go to victory lane and duel number two car out of shape up here that's P2 of Collier Rob trying to hang on one lap to go Matt Yost leads by about a second now. James has got some pressure. Everybody will line back up. Coming to the half one, a half a lap to go for Matt Yost and Rob Collier. James there as well. There's James hanging on. Rob Collier, Collier Matt Yost. Coming to the checkered flag. Double checkered flag will fly. Out of turn number four, Matt Yost. To win duel number two, down the front straight away, Yost will win duel two for the Nexus Extreme Series. Rob Collier, second, and Chris James, third. But Matt Yost will pick up the duel here tonight in duel number two. Let's talk to Matt Yost here. Two duels. Let's talk to Matt. All right, Matt, buddy, Matt in the booth, you got a copy. I hear you. All righty, man. Well, picking up the win in the second duel here tonight. Yeah, um, that was a matter of luck. Uh, I hate the way that I got it because uh, I didn't want to see the uh, the O2 get, get taken out like that. He's always fun to race up front. Uh, I'll take it. It's a good win. You know, it's a good feeling. But I would have liked to have had a little bit more racing up front there. So, yeah. Uh, great run in the beginning with everybody and then it kind of came unglued there toward the end yeah it kind of came unglued but again you're able to walk away with the win here that'll put you uh should be starting uh fourth on the outside lane i do believe for yeah, the uh, uh 500 I'll certainly, I'll certainly take that um car felt really good uh you know i got to thank all my teammates people that help out because i am not a setup guy so thank everybody that uh gives me advice and you know helps me along it's uh so that was uh that was good um yeah it's very interesting man you know you talked about the incident that happened with rob there kind of helped you out but yeah overall you did what you had to do to go to victory lane tonight with one fast repair uh that might have been a, a mistake from uh, sk but it was a gift i tried to avoid the the spin and just got got clipped there but was able to get it fixed, still had enough tires, and was able to bring it home. So there you, there you go, man. Well, again, congratulations, Matt, on the win here tonight, sir. Victory Lane, you get to do the victory dance. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Victory dance. Victory dance. <laughs> do do do. Congrats, buddy. I've lost my line, guys. All right, Matt Goose. Going to the win there in that uh, duel number two. Let's talk to Rob. All right, Rob, Matt in the booth. You got a copy, buddy. Yeah, I'm here. All right, duel number two did not go exactly the way you planned it, but it it works. Yeah. Little whoopsie under yellow. 
Yeah, I'm not too happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> and that forced you to go to pit road and which kind of puts you behind the eight ball, which in turn, I'm not going to say it, that the, um, it who do you, but it definitely who do you just say it. <laughs> yeah, it did. I mean, I'm trying to do the best. Uh, what's the word we're going for here? Polite, uh, non-biased approach uh, possible. That was, yeah, yeah that, did, that did not help you at all. Mm. Nah, if if I had about maybe five laps, I think I would have gotten Matt. He just had enough of a jump on that restart to where, yeah, I couldn't catch him in time. Well, what do you think about me trying to mo maneuver my way around this one? <laughs> uh, I'll just call it how it is. It's like somebody epically screwed up there, and yeah. I mean, that was pretty, uh, to be fair, that was pretty epic. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to screw up, you might as well make it epic as all hell. Yeah, I mean, it gave you at least a little excitement there at the end to see if I could run through everybody and get up there. There we go, man. Well, what's your thoughts as we head towards the actual uh, Daytona race here in a few weeks? Uh, I hope people put a lot more time into what they got and understand that this isn't plate racing. I mean, I think that's the best way to sum it up. And we, This is the furthest thing from plate racing, I believe, I've ever seen here in particular oh yeah uh it was uh it was fun to watch man and again to your point it was it was different <laughs> i mean but man congratulations you got it done don't you love it when i get to set up here and try to maneuver my way around this <laughs> congratulations buddy and again great job all right thanks man all right there we go it is rob collier there coming home there after that little whoopsie daisy there as well but again boys and girls at home great night of racing overall i enjoyed it thank you guys so much i think we're done pretty sure we're done unless i've lost my mind and we're not done but i think we're done and again we will get ready for the duels coming up very very soon and uh, we'll get ready to go so that being said, thank you guys for coming out here tonight, and we will get ready to go racing in a few weeks for the duels to turn them loose. Until then, it, or for the take on it, from the duels to the main event. So, until then, everybody have a great night. We will see you later. Thank you, everybody, for tonight. We will see you in a few weeks for the uh, 